All right, guys, I wanted to give you some small cap trade ideas. There's also micro caps in here, as well as mid caps, companies that used to be small caps, but now have grown and are mid caps. So I'll talk about these. So the thresholds, first off, just so you know, large cap stocks are considered stocks that have a market cap, $10 billion or higher, okay? Mid cap stocks are ones that have a market cap from 2 billion to 10 billion. Small cap stocks are 250 million to 2 billion. And then micro caps are anything less than 250 million for a micro cap, okay? Just so you guys know the different thresholds there. So we'll get started here. So number one on the list, I'm gonna put as Upstart. You guys know this is my baby. I've been talking about this one for a very long time when it was in the teens, lower 20s, and now it's gone up more than 4X since I initially started recommending it. Now, this used to be a small cap between one and $2 billion market cap. Now it's at $7.19 billion market cap. So you can see the growth, both interest rate cuts, filtering through the economy and all their businesses benefiting from lower interest rates. This is going to keep benefiting this company during this interest rate cut cycle. So I do think the stock can get above 100 eventually, but obviously the risk reward isn't as great as it used to be. Anything of these that I mentioned, if you can catch a dip, obviously that's optimal. And go in slowly, right? Don't put it all in at once. I would still dollar cost average to get a nice cost basis, okay? Always use the stop loss, guys. If you're gonna play any of these, of course, do your own research and keep the position small. It doesn't take a lot to for these small caps to potentially go up big during this risk on environment, okay? So upstart, I put on this list, obviously. So now that's a mid cap. Zometry, which is ticker symbol XMTR. This is another one that's more than doubled since I recommended it. It has a $1.54 billion market cap. So it's still considered a small cap, but yeah, they use artificial intelligence for instant quoting to connect the manufacturer with the third party who's building that customized product. And so that's huge, bringing the supply chain from China to the US now, and obviously Trump's for the US. Their artificial intelligence is speeding up the supply chain, and it's a bit, so I like artificial intelligence. I think of it as like the uh, Amazon of manufacturing, kind of the AI of manufacturing, I should say, okay? So I like Zometry still, if you're holding long, again, anytime you can catch a dip, these a lot of these have already rallied big, remember. Lemonade has rallied huge as well, guys. Another one I've been talking about all year. This now has a $3.7 billion market cap. When I recommend this initially, it had a $1 billion, I remember, market cap. So this is rallying because they have the millennials. They're growing with them. They have the renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, pet insurance. They keep growing life insurance, and they'll continue to grow with their customers, and they also do good for the world with the additional money they have left over. And even Warren Buffett praised this company, their business model, what they're doing in the past. So I like that, this company, so you can, again, research all these, of course, and only pick the ones you understand that you're most passionate about, okay? And then next is Lightbridge, ticker symbol LTBR. You've heard me talk about this one several times. This has a $103 million market cap. So this is considered a micro cap, all right? But I like this one because of their advanced nuclear fuel technology, which this is still early on in the story with nuclear. And if they get this to market or get some bigger deals and partnerships and they prove this advanced technology it's insane where this can go so i like taking a shot with that one you know i have that one in my millionaire maker portfolio okay and then iren which is iris energy guys this is a new one my friend actually told me about this last week they crushed on their earnings they have the bitcoin mining so you get a piece of crypto and it's ai com um, computing or cloud computing services which is growing nicely as well. So that's another one to check out. So you get a mixture of both their AI plus the Bitcoin side of things and the energy side. So that's ticker symbol IREN that now has a $2.9 billion market cap. So it's considered mid cap, was a small cap before this latest rally that it's been on. And then Skywater Technologies is another one, ticker symbol SKYT. This one actually hasn't raged a whole lot. You know, the semiconductor space has kind of been uh, left behind here for a little bit, but I think it's only a matter of time before that does rebound. But this company has silicon carbide and they're one of the only ones pure plays uh, of this. Okay, so that's why I like it there. So you can check out that one, SKYT. That only has a $378 million market cap. So that's just in the small cap status. It's almost a micro cap. So that could be one you look, you look at if you like the uh, semiconductor space. And then we also have CXAI. This is another micro cap. 
at 27 million only micro so this is probably one of the riskier ones but this their last report was actually solid i'm reading off this paper so i don't miss anything here they had a 78 percent increase year over year uh re with renewal and expansion bookings and they improved their gross margins from 75% to 80% in the latest quarter. And their net retention rate was 105%, which is great. And they also got a deal with Google Cloud a couple weeks ago or two to three weeks ago, which had initially shot the stock up 150% and then it pulled back. So pretty good opportunity to buy in the dip. Again, keep it small with all these guys. You can have a basket of them. Like I said, the ones you research and understand the most and like the most. And then also Nerdy, ticker symbol N-R-D-Y. I put out a video on this a while ago. I was saying I wasn't too interested in it because they still have another quarter or two before things improve. But here's the deal. I mean, the CEO is buying uh, their shares of his own company. And that's really good when you see the CEO having skin in the game and believing in the future. So like I said, it may take another quarter or two for their financials to get better, but I think people are already buying it because of that now. So you may want to look at Nerdy NRDY. They have $182 million market cap, so it's considered micro cap, okay? And so those are some guys you can look at, okay? I wanted to give you this list and have a great weekend and let's make some money. Let's hope this risk on rally can continue. At some point, valuations will matter again. But when interest rates are coming down and you have Trump, the excitement over deregulation and being for America and small cap stocks, this is their time to shine, guys. It could be like that 1995 to 2000 moment where small caps, you know, really did well and outperformed. So that's what I'm, I'm taking advantage, guys, while it's like this, okay? And like I said, there may be some profit taking in January, but I do think with repositioning some other, you know, institutions, there's a lot of money still on the sidelines that that could still come in and 2025 could still be a decent year. But small caps, I expect to outperform here for a while, guys, with interest rate cuts filtering through the economy.